Hey, cool. Thanks, Sebastian. Uh, so you asked me to talk a little bit about MIDI 2.0 and some of the cool things that are coming there. We have a lot of stuff on the floor here today that shows implementations of uh, MIDI 2.0 in preview devices and upcoming operating system updates and more. And for musicians, some of the things I'm really excited about for MIDI 2.0 is the auto discovery of parameters and being able to have that bi-directional communication so that when you have a controller connected to your DAW, you can like discover what the right parameters are. And when you turn something, it just works. It just, it just hooks up to that VST and we didn't have to do all this extra parameter mapping and all those manual things that we have to do today. And then there's the increased resolution for the different messages where uh, you know, having more than 128 steps for a filter sweep or for something else or for any other control change is really a life-changing event for creativity in music. You know, being able to have the, the full 32-bit number being, uh, representing pitch bend is really a huge range and it gives us much better sounds. No more zipper sounds, no more uh, having to worry about uh, does, the, does the hardware manufacturer implement uh, smoothing of the filter sweep. It's all built into MIDI at this point. And so we have a bunch of devices here and operating systems and stuff, because a lot of folks ask us, this MIDI 2.0 thing, it's been going on forever. When is this ever going to show up in products? So we have some uh, preview products here. We have, uh, and I'll speak on behalf of Microsoft here, we have the Windows USB MIDI driver here. I also have a prototype of the upcoming network MIDI transport running on Windows. Uh, we have Mac OS here running Windows. We have Linux running, uh, excuse me, Mac OS running MIDI. Uh, we have uh, Linux with also stack running MIDI 2.0. So all, and we also have Android devices running MIDI 2.0. So all the major operating systems are there. Uh, we passed some updated standards in the MIDI Association uh, this past, uh, just a couple of weeks ago in a meeting in Japan. AME, which is the Japanese counterpart of the MIDI Association, is currently reviewing those updated standards and they're getting uh, feedback to us by the end of this month, at which point we expect it to pass completely and it becomes an open standard that anybody can implement in, whether or not they are part of the MIDI Association. And it allows uh, us at Microsoft to make our implementation open source at that point. It allows the ALSA folks on Linux to do the same thing. Uh, and allows Mac OS to be more public about the stuff that, honestly, they're already shipping in the box that you might not even know about uh, with their MIDI 2.0 support. And so one of the devices we have here is a prototype device from uh, Korg. I can't tell you any details about it because it is a prototype device, but it's showing that bi-directional communication between this controller keyboard and in this case, the wave state application uh, running on Mac OS. And it's really exciting to know that you just plug them together, they auto-configured, they learned about each other, and it just worked.